Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence video series on building infusions for the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So in this video series, we'll look at coding out an infusion from the ground all the way up. Uh, but we'll start by looking at the finished product so that you can get an idea of the web stack that we use to build out an infusion. So I've built an infusion called Connected Clients, which is available in the Pineapple bar. And I've also gone ahead and put the source code up here. So if you want to jump ahead, um, you can go grab the source code off my GitHub. Um, basically, you have two main files when you build an infusion. We have a file called smalltile.php that draws this box here, and then we have a large tile.php that draws this box. So the way that the web stack works is our small tile here displays the host names from the clients in the DHCP leases table. So the DHCP leases table actually exists at temp dhcp.leases and this is just SSH'd into the pineapple. And so you can see this table here of our DHCP leases, and we've got our host names here. And this is what actually displays on our small tile. So the way that it works is this small tile.php has a JavaScript function that executes on load. That JavaScript function kicks off an Ajax get request that hits a PHP URL, and that PHP URL actually executes a command similar to this to pull the DHCP leases file off the file system, encode it in a JSON object, and pass it back up to the AJAX function. Then the AJAX function parses through the JSON object, pulls out the host names, and updates the HTML. So that's the basic flow of a GET request uh, through a pineapple infusion to get information from the file system. Now if we look at our large tile uh, .php, um, we actually have a blacklist button here. So the way blacklist works is it's a command that you ac actually execute from a shell and it takes a MAC address that you want to add to the blacklist as an argument. So on this page we actually do a POST request. Um, there's actually a hidden form field here and depending on which blacklist button you click it actually takes the associated MAC address uh, from that same line enters it into a hidden form field and posts it to a PHP function that sends uh, the value in that post variable down to a command that executes from the shell uh, to add that MAC address to the blacklist. So that's the other flow that we're going to take to actually get information from the front end down to a command that executes from the command line or into a file on the file system. So in the next video, we'll take a look at how to build out this small tile.php function um, and get that all up and running after we build out the skeleton for our infusion. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out the source code here on my GitHub. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.